This is Emily from help.avanti.com with NFC Provisioning. That's right. We are talking about how you can simplify your Avalanche Android Enterprise device provisioning process. What we're going to do is manually provision one device that we can then use to provision all of our other devices via NFC. So really, you only have to do the work once to provision hundreds of devices. I should mention that right now this feature is only for fully managed Android Enterprise devices, so keep that in mind as we get started. Now before we get going, I want to show you a quick demonstration of the time difference using NFC provisioning makes. As you can see, on the right I'm manually enrolling a device by typing in all of the information, and on the left I'm using NFC. I did speed things up a little, but isn't that difference impressive? Now imagine saving that much time hundreds of times. Okay. What we're going to do first is get our devices ready. In this video, I'm only going to use these two devices, but if you were provisioning a bunch of devices, you could line them all up and run down the row tapping them as you go, which might be what some of our engineers here have done. But anyway, I have these two devices, and this is the one I'm going to use to provision the other one. This is a Google Pixel XL that I have already enrolled with Avalanche. This provisioning device can be in either fully managed or work profile mode, but like I mentioned earlier, the devices you are provisioning are going to be put into fully managed mode. We'll go ahead and open the menu in the enabler and tap this provisioning option. You can see here that I have a few different provisioning profiles already. My devices at different locations get different payloads, so I like to set up multiple provisioning profiles that use different enrollment rules. Now when I go to a location, I just use that location's profile and all of the new devices are put into the right inventory folder and get the right payloads. What we're going to do next is create a new provisioning profile. So all I do here is enter my Wi-Fi information so the device can automatically connect to my network, and the same information I used for the enrollment rule I want to use. If I wanted to, I could scan a QR code here to enter the information, but I'm just going to go ahead and type it this time. Oh, and speaking of QR codes, if you just tap this button, you can use the same profile to create a QR code for provisioning. I'll include a link about QR code provisioning below if you're curious. Now we tap Start NFC Provisioning, and this device is ready to go. Once that's ready, we can move on to the device we are provisioning. This device has just been factory reset and turned on, and that's all we need to do. We will finish up by holding the two devices NFC sensors near each other, and tapping the screen on the provisioner device. And there we go. All that's left to do is tap accept, and the device will take care of everything else. Depending on the manufacturer of the device, you might get an additional user agreement like I did here on the Samsung, but it's still only going to take one or two taps for the whole process. And here we are with our enrolled device. I hope you give this a try soon. Follow the links below for the written help and more info or head on over to help.avanti.com to learn about all of Avalanche's features.